All right, guys, so before we get into this uh, video, we have to talk about the death of cultural icon Miss Betty White, who unfortunately passed away yesterday at the age of 99 years old. Um, I believe she was actually about to turn 100 uh, on January 17th, so she had a few weeks to go before she reached the uh, century mark. However, um, uh, the Lord called her home. Okay, before the end, it's one of those things where it is incredibly sad. I mean, because she probably was one of the most uh, longest running uh, actresses ever, right? Uh, to be on TV. Again, she was a cultural icon. She's known, uh, I think, mostly for being on uh, Golden Girls uh, and her role as uh, Rose on that show. <laughs> you know, the, 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 the girl that everybody kind of made fun of is, you know, not being all that intelligent. And that show, uh, just like Miss Betty White herself, was very iconic, right? It actually dealt with a whole lot of issues that um, we would find to even be controversial today, okay? And that show was so successful. And in my opinion, I believe that no matter uh, what your background was as an American, I, I think a lot of people <laughs> watch that show just because of how relatable it actually was and the things they talked about and just you know the great talent um that all four of those women uh had on that show that i think again really transcended um you know race or you know sex or, or gender any of that stuff I, that show was just one of the greatest shows in, in american history um so again it is terrible to lose uh somebody like uh miss betty white so you know again um rest in peace to miss betty white again a cultural icon so somebody i think that truly was a, a talented and great uh person so <laughs> now we actually get into the actual topic of this video which is uh new year's as cnn right uh probably had one of the most ratchet new year celebrations i've ever seen in my life specifically from a news station that is and they do this pretty much every single year especially recently but this year was a little bit extra right there was a little bit more ratchetness this year that got really really crazy now uh admittedly i didn't watch cnn for new year's i actually went to sleep early last night yeah i am a boring person guys uh but i was able to catch some of the highlights and um yeah, it was ratchet and uh, some would say trashy to say the least. And this is interesting stuff because CNN tries to uh, brand themselves as an upstanding network, right? That they're above the fray, right? Specifically when compared to uh, Fox News, okay? Uh, and hey, you know, they don't stoop as low as Trump supporters and conservatives in regards to vulgarities, right? Like let's go Brandon, which uh, CNN deemed as one of the worst things in the world, right? It's... it's classless right <laughs> according to uh cnn and some of the people that are on uh their network to say things like that so again i, I find it ironic how a news network um really lost control last night on new year's and uh it, it, it was it was pretty trashy right it was pretty bad uh but let's start out with uh the allegations that cnn actually was putting up uh fake tweet of people with names that don't sound all that appropriate for tv when you say their names <laughs> take a look these are all fake tweets ben dover now look at the next one cnn's throwing out fake twitter names mike long this is cnn you think that they'd have someone screening this who's this one i need a black man what the f now again i found it to be hilarious because uh i don't know if those tweets was fake or not but i did look up some of these uh <laughs> names on twitter and uh some of them didn't exist and some of them did right so i have no clue but again i just found it hilarious how all the names they were showing like <laughs> bend over 
<laughs> I need a black man. Like what? <laughs> I just found it hilarious how all the names they were showing uh, <laughs> were hilarious, right? They sounded hilarious when you say them out <laughs> loud. And uh, that should have been an indication of how ratchet uh, this night for CNN got. Um, as um, Don Lemon, <laughs> like Don Lemon, um, him and his uh, panel of guests, I guess, uh, got uh, a, a little bit too out of control in which they were doing an interview that really went off the rails. Take a look. CNN, classy CNN, okay, uh, caught, right, caught on air, <laughs> children watching, children watching, talking about broke <laughs> penis, right, broke penis is what they're talking about, okay, and uh, being a gold digger, right, <laughs> being a gold digger, okay, uh, this is what they're talking about on air, again, I, I get it. it, it's New Year's, right, people get, you know, drunk, they get ratchet, hey, look, I, hey, I have no problem with people living their life and doing what they want to do, partying, getting lit. I'm all about getting lit, right? Uh, at the appropriate times, right? Everybody does, okay? <laughs> but, but, again, uh, this is a news network here, right? A news network that prides themselves in being classy. But they're on air on New Year's <laughs> talking about things that the FCC is probably not going to like. But a conversation that Don Lemon probably does like. Right? <laughs> it probably can relate to a whole... Like, also notice how um, they're in New Orleans, okay? Uh, not in New York, not in any liberal uh, state, right? They're not wearing masks, they're not social distancing, okay? But they're gonna go back on air this week and start talking about Ron DeSantis in Florida and the cases there and, you know, um, smearing conservatives as being reckless and dangerous, right? While, again, they party on New Year's maskless in a red state of Louisiana in New Orleans. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Again, always rules for thee, not for me. Once again, okay, uh, the hypocrisy has no end. Okay, it doesn't. But hey, you know, uh, when alcohol gets to flowing, when the drinks gets to flowing, uh, all types of things come out, right? Not just inappropriate conversations <laughs> about broke penis, but also um, conversations about politics that, um, you know, kind of reveals how these people actually really think about these uh, liberal mayors and <laughs> their policies kind of like what happened uh between anderson cooper and uh his guests when they got a little bit too late uh, yeah, this looks better than the oh this is classy oh my god <laughs> <laughs> oh my god <laughs> <laughs> yeah. right now my jaws are, are like hurting right here <laughs> 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 you guys are so funny oh my god remember we said we got to drink on tv remember that we can't drink on tv <laughs> Yes, we can. Okay. okay. So, so right Let me tell you something. Oh, please. Tell us something, Andy. Watching Mayor de Blasio. Oh, don't go on a rant. Do his don't go on a rant. victory lap dance. Don't, 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 don't. After four years <laughs> of the, the crap as the mayor of New York, the That's only thing the that year. Democrats and Republicans can That's agree how, on I mean, is, is what a horrible mayor he has he, been. Wow. So sayonara, sucka. Wow. 2022. I mean, it's a new year. Because guess what? 
I have a feeling speaking of which, I'm going to be standing right here which. next year. <laughs> and you know who I'm not going to be looking at? Dancing as the city comes apart. You. Look. Eric, Eric Adams, Adams is, is being. <laughs> Bruh. Oh, my God. That is Anderson Cooper. Right. Uh, with his, his friend. I don't know who he is. Um. And he's basically ish faced, right? On national TV, right? On TV, get classy, right? Classy CNN. Kids are watching, right? Apparently they didn't care, okay? And uh, yeah, uh, his guest goes on a rant, in which he really says, well, all of them actually really think about Bill de Blasio, right? That, that's what they all think. They all think that the guy was a terrible mayor. And they actually really think that about a whole lot of these mayors of these liberal cities. They just can't say it out loud because it doesn't fit the narrative. They definitely think that all these cities like Chicago, LA, New York, San Francisco, they definitely think that they are ish holes. That, that's what they think. That's what they actually really think. But again, they can't actually say that on TV because, um, again, it, it doesn't fit the narrative, right? It, it's not the Democrat Party line. In fact, they, they probably don't agree with um, the mandates. They don't agree with lockdowns. They don't agree with any of this stuff, okay? They probably are ready for us to go back to living normal life, and they're tired of the BS, right? They're tired of it. Again, just look at how much they're partying, not wearing masks, any chance they get, going to red states, any chance they get, right? Doing things that are not necessarily what uh, they advocate for on TV, literally any chance they get when they're not on camera, right? That tells you exactly what they actually think, okay? It tells you exactly what they actually think. And this is why I kind of, I, I love the fact that you're seeing a lot of this stuff, right? Because it shows you who these people really are uh, when they're not on TV. And honestly, that's fine. Like, that's totally cool. I I get it. I understand, right? People have their personal lives. I don't care what you do in your personal life. I just find it hilarious when you put it out there on TV and uh, <laughs> the real opinions, right, actually start to come out, right? The real things actually start to flow, right? You got to love it, right? You got to love it. Now, the final thing I want to talk about here and probably the cringiest part of what I saw uh, from last night was a man who had just proposed to his wife, and then after proposing to her, I'm assuming she said yes, uh, they start making out with mask on. Take a look. A little proposal's happening! And she said yes! She said yes! Yo, we need to follow up with some of these couples nine months from now, you know what I'm saying? That's a show I am so down to host too. You better hit me up for that one, Ryan. Truly hosting this one has brought me so much joy. This feels like pure magic. Back over to you, Ryan. Oh, you beautiful. Bruh. 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 Again. Um. <laughs> they say that people on the right <laughs> are in a cult. Hey, that's what they say. <laughs> but then you see this. <laughs> this man proposes to his wife. She says yes. And you start making out with mask on. While the person right in front of you, literally right in front of your face on TV has no mask, right? They're not wearing a mask. I, I don't get it. I don't understand. I really don't. I know you're not trying to spread the cooties, but come on now. Come on. You, you could pull the mask down for a second to kiss your future wife, your fiance on the lips. I, I don't get it, bro. I, I really, really, really don't get it. I don't. I just don't. I find that to be absolutely fascinating and probably the most cringiest thing I've ever seen in my life. Again, it reminds me of when Kamala uh, kissed her husband uh, when uh, he had a mask on, right? They both had masks on, right? That, that's like a thing among liberals, kissing each other with masks on. Yeah, how does that work? I don't understand. I really don't. But uh, yeah, that was New Year's. And if that is any indication, right? of how 2022 is going to go, um, we got an interesting year, okay? Because 2020 was interesting, right? It started off with the death of Kobe Bryant, which I think really kind of set the tone for that year. We got the virus after that. That came, we basically went through probably uh, the craziest year ever in regards to uh, politics with, you know, George Floyd and all the other stuff and the election. And then go into 2021, <laughs> at the beginning of that year, yeah, January 6th, right, which again set off a lot of craziness in regards to politics and things going on in the country uh, for 2021, you know, and 
we end 2021 with the death of an icon, Betty White. We also had some other people that passed away, uh, legends like uh, John Madden. Uh, you had Senator Harry Reid. He passed away. So, yeah, I mean, it, it's kind of crazy, right? It's kind of crazy to think about. And in my opinion, uh, I got a gut feeling that 2022 probably is going to be crazier than 2020 and 2021. This might be the craziest year um, that we will have in a long, long time, okay? I think this might be the craziest year in history. I, I think 2020 was previously the craziest year in recent history, maybe <laughs> the past 50 or 60 years or so, in my opinion. 2022 might top that. I, I, I just got a gut feeling that this year is going to be insane. But, hey, who knows? <laughs> Hopefully, I'm wrong, right? But we'll see. Happy New Year's. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.